Hey guys, Fox Protocol Mining here, coming at you from the Fox Den with a new video. Guys, today I'm going to cover Ravencoin profitability because I think it's probably one of the most asked questions in the scene right now. Uh, what's going on with Ravencoin since the happening? Well, so far we're down about 3 terahash on the total hash rate right now. We touched 9 briefly there on the 11th and we've been going down ever since. Uh, I can't say that we're still going down. I think we may start to level off here soon. Uh, but we haven't seen any price action yet with Ravencoin. Uh, the difficulty has gone down considerably from not too long ago. I mean, we were at almost uh, 140k difficulty right before the halvening, and we're down to 85. Uh, and I think honestly that this is going to continue to drop. I think we'll still see a little bit of a network hash rate reduction. I'm probably guessing we're going to come in around five, five and a half, unless we see some price action here in the short term on Ravencoin. Uh, just looking at the hash rate chart, I mean, we've been all over the place. This is the full history too, so, uh, but you know, we peaked here at about 9.4 terahash on the third, about a week before the happening. And it's been downhill since then, obviously. So where are we at with actual profitability? Uh, looking last 24 hours. Uh, let's say you're using a 580, for example. And I'm using 13 cent for kilowatt hour wise because I'm doing this for residential miners. I mean, if you're a commercial miner and you're only paying two cents a kilowatt hour, I mean, awesome for you, sucks for us. Uh, so yeah, Ethereum still leading the pack here. Notice Ravencoin not even in the top running anymore. It's all the way down here. 22 cents. Ouch. I mean, that's that hurts. Because Ravencoin's been pretty consistently uh, up here with Ethereum, actually. It's been over 80 cents. Uh, close to a dollar. And now we're all the way down here. And I mean... Let's say you've, maybe you've got a 30 series card, like a limited hash rate, 3070 maybe. See if that helps. No, we're still not up here. Wow. Wow. All the way, a dollar four on a 3070. Oof. That's, that's just smart. I mean, even Aeon is up here still. Tent, of all things, leading the pack. I still like my Flux, though. Flux is awesome. But, yeah, guys, I mean, that's... Ouch. That is that is a hurtful amount. That's why I'm saying I don't, I don't think this hash rate is going to stick around. At least not where it's at now. Like, you know, if I refresh, maybe we'll... No. Too much to hope for there. But, I mean... Uh, yeah, with the price still edging down, the difficulty still adjusting, the hash rate still a little high, in my opinion, uh, until we see some positive price movement, which, I mean, happening doesn't necessarily equal instant price action. Uh, generally, these moves are pretty slow. So I would say it's going to be, it's probably going to be weeks, maybe a month or two before we see Ravencoin really pop back up there. Especially since we're getting a lot of, uh, if I switch over to the BTC chart really fast, you know, Bitcoin's hash rate, I mean, it's still going up, but, you know, Bitcoin price is all over the board lately. And it's been knocking, you know, not, not financial advice, I'm not much of a trader, but Bitcoin itself has been really hitting this uh, support that it's got down here. Ooh, actually, this is a one, yeah, this is the daily, wow. So, I mean, we peaked back up, but we've been dipping, like, just a week ago, we were under 40K. You know, this is within the last week. And, you know, Ravencoin doesn't doesn't really hug Bitcoin price that much, but uh, on dips like these, it affects the whole market. So I, I think that's going to really contribute to uh, this bounce on Ravencoin taking a little bit longer than it should. Like we've 
I keep hearing people threatening we're in a bear market, but I won't believe that we're in a bear market until I see sub 30k Bitcoin. That's just uh, my personal opinion, but we'll see. So, yeah, guys. So, I mean, if you're mining Ravencoin, uh, you know, more power to you. I mean, it's still a great project, but the profitability is just going to take a while to uh, to hang in there. And, you know, uh, Ravencoin's DAG is significantly lower than Ethereum's. It's still mineable by four gigabyte cards. And, uh, like, I was wondering, uh, did some of this hash rate move? And uh, we did see that, actually, right here. This is the happening point. Ethereum Classic was at 23.5, and now we're sitting over 25 still, 25 terahash. So we saw a little bit of movement over here to Ethereum Classic, and I'm sure we saw some movement to some other projects like Ergo, things like that. So that Ravencoin hash rate is moving. So we'll also see some of the other projects in that DAG range start to degrade their profitability too. I imagine Ethereum Classic, uh, Ergo, Ciro, uh, uh, you know, projects of that nature are going to start seeing some profitability dips as well as some of the Raven miners kind of migrate out. So, I mean, that's, that's it in a nutshell, guys. That's my opinion. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Ravencoin is going to take a while to get back into the profitability scope of things. I really hope that it does. I really hope we see uh, some price movement. Uh, I can't even speculate as to what that's going to look like. Uh, or, you know, everybody wants to know, well, what, what, what's it going to go up to? And I've, I've got no idea, honestly. I would love to be back in that 14 cent range on Raven, but... Uh, it's uh, I just don't see it anytime soon so I don't know guys uh, I hope this was informative uh, this is just my opinion uh, based on everything that's gone on with profitability wise uh, it was a pretty significant hit to profitability though uh, I, I had some 470 uh, 4 gig cards on there myself and I was I was getting about 80 88 cents a day profitability out of those and I moved Personally, I moved to Ethereum Classic as soon as the happening occurred because I just I wasn't sure what was going to happen with profitability and I wanted to maintain some. Now I'm, I took about a 50% dump in profitability and that's continuing to fall. So hopefully things get a little bit better for us here in the mining scene, guys. But uh, that's all I got, guys. Uh, if you have any questions that I can answer, please hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, guys, uh, this is the Fox Den. I'm signing off.